Communications, there is none. Public testimony on items listed on, on the agenda. Uh, I have a number of people who have submitted requests. Uh, is Randy Gordon here? Good evening. My name is Randy Gordon. I'm President and CEO of the Long Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber is here tonight to support the motion calling for Mr. Michael Ellis's resignation. Working with members of our community, our role in this effort is important and justified. First, the business community plays an important role in our school district by supporting our young people and their transition into their careers. Second, Long Beach businesses depend on the school district to train our youth so they are ready to participate in the Long Beach economy. Third, when we believe change is needed, we do not sit on the sidelines and let the cards fall where they may. Instead, we serve our business community by playing an active role in shaping the future of our community. The future of our school district and its role with our business community is dependent on leaders such as you. If we believe the future is at risk, we have the responsibility to take action. As we stated before you two weeks ago, Mr. Ellis is a risk in the future of the school district. His repeated missteps is an indication that he does not take his role seriously and must step aside. He is devastating the morale of the school district staff, setting a horrific example of our young people, and more importantly, doing a disservice to the people that elected him just a short time ago. For the record, Mr. Ellis is without a doubt the worst school board member in the history of the Long Beach Unified School District. Can I? We, we need to maintain order and respect for anyone who's speaking on any item on this agenda. Thank you all. Although some may attempt to excuse his deplorable record and continue to be in denial, the facts are overwhelming. I repeat, the facts are overwhelming. I urge the school board to send a message to our entire community that you have lost faith in Mr. Ellis's ability to serve and urge him to resign effective immediately. If he does not step down voluntarily, he leaves us no choice but to put this decision in the hands of the voters in a recall election. We will Im immediately begin that process. It's up to you, Mr. Ellis, on whether or not to do the right thing to step down or whether this district must face a decisive election for his seat. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gore. <laughs> Let me just say that the display of behavior we 